Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Bakehouse Creations Sea Salt Caramel Chocolate Chunk Cookie Dough. These were $2.89 at Aldi. Uh, Bakehouse, that is a, an Aldi brand. These are actually made in Canada. Uh, so, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Place cookies on a parchment paper lined baking sheet two inches apart. Bake for 12 to 14 minutes. Remove from the pan and allow them to cook slightly before removing them with a spatula. So I'm going to cut the end just to make it quicker for the video. And this, they feel chunk, they do feel chunky. Yeah. Chocolate chunk, they're chunky. They, they, um, they're kind of rough looking. I mean, like rough, um, roughly made is what I mean. So I'm gonna put um, probably every single one of these on my cookie sheet. I actually like these blob of those and the other ones because the other ones are, are, they rip apart and everything when you pull them apart. These are chunky and they're like separate already almost. Yes, this was this was 10 times easier to get on this uh, tray than the other ones. So I'm going to put them in, I'm going to go right in the middle. I'm going to go for 13 minutes and we'll be back. So the cookies, they actually ended up cooking for the full amount of time. So 14, I, I looked at them at 13 minutes. They weren't quite ready. So I put them in for an additional minute. But you can see this one is still like wet. That is the caramel. But it will dry as it sits here. So we're going to let them cool completely and then give them a try. This is a 16 ounce package in case you're curious. 12 servings in the container, one cookie, 38 grams is 160 calories, and they baked perfectly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if they spread you, really nicely. Yeah, if you go the entire uh, 14 minute time, they, they spread perfectly. Um, let's see. It says watch temperatures and baking times as oven temperatures vary and ensure to adjust for higher elevation. I told you it was Aldi, and these were in the refrigerated section at Aldi. Um, oh, thank you. Gosh, that looks incredible. So soft. Very soft, gooey. And you get a little crisp edge around the edge of it. Mm-hmm. We've let these cool off for a little while, and the chocolate's still melty. Mm-hmm. It's good, I like the caramel. I like the chocolate. It has a, um, a little bit of buttery flavor to it. Those are good cookies. I do think they're good, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, I wish the caramel flavor was a little stronger, but but beyond that, I think it's The texture really, is terrific. Mm -hmm. It is. I, I think when you get a caramel chip, it's really strong. Otherwise, it just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, yeah. That being said, it's a very buttery chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookie. Yeah, you get the butter and you get... So, no, those are, they're good. They're the good only time. thing that surprises me was the package was thick, and that could have been because they put it in that plastic. plastic tray. Okay. But, well, and when I took them out, they were in the little balls. The balls that were pretty high. So I thought they were going to be like chunky cookies. Mm -hmm. They spread out. And they're not. Good. They're flat. But I, none of them, as you saw, it's not like they ran all over the place mm -hmm. or. Even anything. the few that run together and touch, you just pull them right apart. They can't and they all easy. stay together. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, it is a very soft cookie. Me holding this right now, you know that when you bite into this, it's just going to be gooey, gooey. Um, I think they're delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't get, in the half that you gave me, I didn't get a lot of the sea salt caramel at either. all. I see it, plenty of it, but then there was plenty of it in the piece I gave you. But yeah, it was just... it's just honestly, it's just it's mainly a chocolate chip cookie, but it's a really good chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. So you know you're paying two eighty nine for them, and you're getting that homemade chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookie flavor. So I do think it's worth it. And this is something to buy. If your kids don't have a lot of experience in the kitchen, this is something they can do. You know, mm -hmm. let them arrange the cookies on the baking sheet, and then when they leave the room, you can fix them, you know? But this is something they can help out with. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.